Hi friends, it's Mrs. Crabtree, the homeschool holiday, and I'm here with some trivia about our favorite Italian with a mustache and a hat, Mario, to help us celebrate Mario Day. Did you know that video games go all the way back to 1958? That's a long time. Well, the physicist that invented the game called Tennis for Two he didn't know he was inventing anything special. He didn't know video games would take off, nothing. He just wanted an interesting exhibit for a group of science nerds to interact with. He used his game for two years and then he moved on. Video games didn't get a patent until 1964 when Sanders Associates, they applied for the patent. Magnavox bought the patent, and now we've got video game history. In 1981, a character called Jumpman. This is Mario. He appears in Donkey Kong for the first time. We celebrate Mario on March 10th. The reason we do this is because when you write out Mar, M-A-R, the abbreviation for March, and then 10, one O, it looks like it spells Mario. Mario and Luigi are twins, twin brothers from Italy. Mario is older than Luigi, and they have no last name. Sometimes you might read or hear them that their last name is Mario, but it's not. That's not, not true. They're just Mario and Luigi, like Mickey Mouse. He's just Mickey Mouse. Mario's appeared in more video games than any other character. In fact, it's 200 or more. I think we've lost count at this point. Mario is a franchise owned by Nintendo. In fact, the Super Mario series is in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most successful gaming franchise of all time. Over 670 million copies of Super Mario games have been sold. When Mario appeared in that Donkey Kong game way back in 1981 as Jumpman, he was a carpenter. Well, he got a career change when him and his brother Luigi appeared in um, the Mario Brothers game. You see, that video game took place in the sewers of New York City, and it made more sense for Mario to be a plumber. The Game Boy title, Super Mario Land, gives Mario a new love interest. Princess Peach is replaced by Princess Daisy. There's a very iconic song, a Mario song. We all know it. We all love it. In fact, that song was number one on Billboard's top charts for ringtones for 125 weeks. That's pretty amazing. The name of that is called Ground Theme. All right, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn something about Mario and to celebrate Mario Day. I hope you'll join us again for another homeschool holiday because there's always something to celebrate.